Hallo Freunde, herzlich willkommen. Ich habe heute mal was ganz Besonderes für euch. Ich habe einen guten Kumpel, der arbeitet in der äh, Hotelbranche. Und die haben kurz vor Weihnachten so eine Anfrage von einem äh, Betrüger bekommen. Der hat erst so getan, dass er bei ganz normal bei ihnen buchen möchte. Und äh, als es dann an die Zahlungsformalitäten ging, sagte er, ja, wir zahlen mit Traveler Scheck. Und da geht der Betrug los. Denn der Aufenthalt kostet, sagen wir mal, 1000 Euro. Und die sagen dann, sie bezahlen im Voraus mit einem Verrechnungscheck äh, für 2200 Pfund. Dann sollst du 1000 für deine, für deine Unterkunft nehmen, für die Reisegruppe. Das sind mal Schüler, mal Studenten, mal Nonnen, mal, äh, mal sind das Mitarbeiter, mal ist es Außendienst. Die Geschichten sind sehr interessant, er hat mir ein bisschen was gezeigt. Und äh, die Differenz zwischen Unterkunftskosten und äh, dem, was sie dir überwiesen haben, sollst du denen dann vor Ort auszahlen. Zumindest sagen sie das am Anfang, das ändert sich im Laufe der Nummer nochmal. Gucken wir mal rein. Ich hatte dann einfach, äh, ich habe die E-Mail-Adresse und alles gekriegt, einfach mal ein Angebot gebastelt, habe mich äh, aus Spaß an der Freude mal Rudi Winkler Tours genannt und musste dann natürlich anbieten, ein äh, Bedroom Apartment Schrein des Haus 8 in Emskirchen. Ganz klar, und dann, ihr seht, der Zeitraum ist inzwischen schon durch. Ich wollte in die eine Woche im April bleiben. Und dann eben, ja, wir freuen uns, Sie zu hören, ob Sie das buchen möchten. Mit besten Grüßen, Mr. Winkler. Und dann sendet er, ja, vielen Dank für das Angebot. Ich habe die Vorbereitungen soweit getroffen, dass die Gäste in diesem Zeitraum bei Ihnen anreisen können. Und dann kommt eben diese Geschichte, ein zertifizierter Bankscheck über 2200 Pfund wurde von der Firma auch freigegeben. Und damit er das alles noch ähm, fertig machen kann, braucht er jetzt halt noch äh, Daten von mir. Und ich habe dann nochmal äh, noch nachgefragt, ob ich ihn richtig verstanden habe, dass wir das überschüssige Geld dann an die äh, Reisetruppe selber äh, ausstellen, äh, ausgeben sollen. Die Unterkunft selber, guck mal, eine Woche als Schauerberg für 800 Euro ist doch okay, oder? Ich hätte da jede Zahl hinschreiben können. Wir, wir haben noch nie mit Schecks gearbeitet, was sollen wir damit machen? Und dann hat er halt geschrieben, ja, die Firma bezahlt den Scheck, er wartet auf meine persönlichen Informationen und dann muss ich diesen Scheck quasi abgeben. Und dann, ja, wir hoffen, sie hat dann ein, ein, gutes, äh, ein gutes Weihnachten und ein frohes neues Jahr. Bitte senden Sie die Adresse, äh, den Scheck an meine Adresse, ich bin zurzeit nicht im Büro, weil ich krank bin. Guck mal hier, der Rainer äh, Scheck über 2200 Pfund gekriegt, ist auch nicht, nicht gerade unfreundlich von mir, dass die dem das schicken. Und dann habe ich ihn eben noch gebeten, dass er äh, eben nochmal einst äh, dazu stimmt, dass eben die, die Buchungsbedingungen, die ich ihm gar nicht mitgeschickt habe, ich habe ja keine AGBs, also Rudi Winkler Tours, hätte ich die Allgemeinverfügung vom, vom, vom Markt Emskirchen anhängen können und dass er es halt äh, fest buchen möchte. Und dann sagt er, bedankt sich, der Scheck ist auf dem Weg und ich soll ihn informieren. Und dann muss ich ehrlich sagen, habe ich es total vergessen, weil Weihnachten, Jahreswechsel und so. Und dann hat er mir Anfang, äh, hier Anfang März wieder geschrieben. Ich hoffe, Ihnen geht es blendend. Der Scheck wurde letzten Dienstag aufgegeben, als ob er das angeblich erst nach drei Monaten gemacht hat. Er hat das genauso vergessen gehabt wie ich. Und der Postmann, mit dem er als Firmenober da natürlich persönlich zu tun hat, sagt, das dauert drei Tage. Bitte seien Sie so nett, informieren Sie mich, sobald der Scheck eingetroffen ist. Und dann habe ich am gleichen Tag noch gesagt, ja, ist angekommen. Und er freut sich. Super, dass Sie den Scheck erhalten haben. Bitte kümmern Sie sich doch um die Einlösung bei der Bank und informieren Sie mich, sobald er das Guthaben ihrem, unter äh, Ihrem Konto gutgeschrieben ist, damit wir mit den Reisevorbereitungen fortfahren können. Und habe ich geschrieben, ich habe das direkt eingelöst, nachdem ich es erhalten habe. Wird wahrscheinlich das Wochenende dauern, um das, bis das halt gut geschrieben ist. Und fragt nochmal ganz seriös nach, ob die auch am ähm, Frühstück möchten. Projekt Brot und Brötchen. Ne? Danke für Ihre Nachricht. Er fragt die Gäste, ob sie ähm, Frühstück haben möchten. Da habe ich ihm gesagt, ja, er soll mich dann informieren. Und ja, ah, da, 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 er wünscht mir schon wieder einen guten Tag, sehr freundlich formell. Fragt, ob das Geld inzwischen meinem Bankkonto gut geschrieben wurde. Er braucht, ähm, er braucht den Betrag, der mir gut geschrieben wurde. Dabei weiß er doch, was er mir überwiesen hat. So, und dann habe ich geschrieben, ja, wie vereinbart 2200 Pfund, habe hier einfach den Preis mal eben äh, um 1000 Euro erhöht, ne? Ist ihm auch nicht aus aufgefallen. Er teilt mir dann mit, dass er 3200 ähm, überwiesen hat und jetzt wissen muss, wie viel äh, ich in Euro denn bekommen habe. Fragt nach meiner Telefonnummer, die E-Mail musste ich dann leider löschen, weil ich keine Ahnung habe, wie ich sowas unkenntlich machen kann, aber ich habe im Endeffekt nur meine Nummer und meine Bürozeit hingeschrieben. Und dann äh, hat er mir den ganzen Kram eben hier nochmal mitgeteilt. 
dann habe ich mit ihm telefoniert, es gab erst ein kurzes Gespräch und dann hat er mir die ganzen Überweisungsdaten gegeben, weil jetzt sollte ich angeblich, nachdem ich die Kosten für die Unterkunft abgezogen habe, das restliche Geld an den Reiseagenten zurücküberweisen, damit er die Tickets kaufen und äh, ein Auto mieten kann. Und da geht es los mit dieser Geschichte. Du sollst da angeblich was behalten und was weiterleiten. Und sobald du das machst, bist du so ziemlich fett drin im Geldwäschegeschäft. Weil das kommt aus ganz, 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 ganz dubiosen Quellen, dieses Geld mit denen, die da arbeiten. Wenn ihr wollt, könnt ihr dieses Johnny Hanman ja mal bei Dr. Google eingeben. Das ist eine ziemlich bekannte Nummer inzwischen. Tierisch kaputt gelacht habe ich mich bei dem Namen Petgrave. Das ist quasi äh, auf Deutsch übersetzt, übersetzt Haustiergrab. Geiler Name, passt für so einen Trottel. Äh, mit einer IBAN in, in Großbritannien. Ich habe hier bei NAI tatsächlich erst an Nigeria, Nigeria gedacht, aber da ist ja gar kein Adrin. Haha. <lacht> so, ähm, und er wartet darauf, dass ich ihm das bestätige. Und nachdem ich im zweiten Telefonat dann zum Ende natürlich richtig habe auflaufen lassen, habe ich ihm noch geschrieben, äh, das ist alles bei YouTube gestreamt worden, danke, dass du dich selber zum Affen gemacht hast, du krimineller Abschaum. Wo zum Teufel rüber redest du? Ja, und dann habe ich ihm halt noch gesagt, er hat seinen äh, Scheck direkt zur Bundespolizei geschickt. Ist, äh, um, weiß nicht, war Rainer da schon raus um die Zeit? Keine Ahnung. Auf jeden Fall ist er relativ sicher, dass der Scheck äh, bei der Pinne ja ins Kirchen gelandet ist und die können jetzt damit schön Urlaub in Nigeria machen. Und darauf hat er nicht mehr geantwortet. Und ihr habt jetzt gesehen, wie äh, der Betrug mit travel Checks funktioniert. Im Groben, im Folgenden kommen dann die zwei Anrufe, die sind auch auf Englisch. Ich wünsche ganz viel Spaß, ganz viel Freude und dann äh, bis zum nächsten regulären Video Samstag und Sonntag. Dankeschön, tschüss. Ja, hallo. Hallo. Wer ist da? Ja, ja. Ja, mein Name ist Johnny Hanman. I'm calling you from England. Hallo? Ja, hallo. Can ja. you hear me? Yes, I can. Who is that? Ja, mein Name ist Johnny Hanman. I'm calling you from England. From England? Okay. Yes. What honor do we owe this phone call to, right? Ja, um, are you Rainer Zufall? Ja, Rainer Zufall speaking. Ja, um, I was giving this phone number to call you. Um, um, I want to, I wanted to speak to Rainer Winkler. Rainer Winkler? Um, yeah. Yeah, one second. Guten Abend, hier ist Winkler. Wer spricht da bitte? Hello? Hallo. Yeah, how are you? You alright? Ah, who is that? Yeah, my name is Johnny. Johnny Hammond from England. Ah, Johnny, my old friend. How are you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm very fine, thank you. And you? Ah, uh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so am I, so am I. Yeah, yeah. So when are your guys arriving? You didn't answer about the breakfast, didn't you? Yeah, well, but we have an issue communicating with you because um, we need the money to book the flight ticket. We need the, the balance of the money from you to book the flight ticket and book the, the, the car hire, the taxi. To book the, te the flight? You yes, said yes. I should hand the money to your travel group? Yes, yes. So when are they coming? Yeah, that they should be arriving 4 p.m. 4 p.m. on Saturday. On 4 p.m., yeah. That's yeah. okay. But do you on need Saturday. the breakfast or not? Yeah, I think they will, uh, they said they're gonna pay for the breakfast themselves. Oh, yeah, that's, what, that's yeah. very kind of them. Yeah, what? How yeah, many what people are coming exactly? You didn't tell me. Yeah, that's two people, two people. Just two people? Yeah, two people. All right. Yeah, that's not a problem. Told, yeah, you haven't told me how much you received from the money. We sent you a check for 3,200 pounds. Yeah, I'm not too sure about pound and euros. What's the difference? We cashed it in that me just that me you you gave a, a 3.2k, right? Yeah, 3,200 um, pounds. Yeah, that would be uh, let Are me you going to check your account? Yeah, yeah I'm about to. Ah, oh, that's not a problem. So that should be... 
3,725 euro and 17 cents. Yes, that's correct. That's what my bank said, yeah. Nice, very good. Yeah. We so, never um, had guests from England before, you know. Oh, oh sorry, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, how much is the accommodation for, for the day? Uh, it was uh, 1,087. But it would be 975 if they pay for the breakfast themselves. Yes, they're going to pay for the breakfast themselves. Yeah, but the, 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 um, the, the cost for accommodation, I'm looking at my email, is 795. Yeah, yeah. 795. 795, yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. It were, there, were more, there were more people coming. No, 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 just two people. Yeah, that's okay. So do they need a, a bedroom each or would they like to share a bedroom? Is it like a couple? Yeah, just a couple, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah so yeah. we can give them a shared bedroom. Yeah, 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 that's all right. Yeah, that's not so a problem. What, yeah, so what I want you to do now, please, I, I need you to transfer the balance of the money to the agent so he can book the flight ticket and the car hire arrangement but to to a place on Saturday. But why do you... Send a check to me, and I am supposed to hand it to your flight agent now? No, it's not you handling it. The company paid for accommodation and transportation, just like I explained to you over yes. the email. Yes. What you need to do is just to transfer the balance of the money to the agent. Okay, just give me a minute. I need to re-log into the bank. One second. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. I needed to find my mobile phone for verification. Johnny? Yeah. Sorry, I needed to find my mobile for verification. I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, you couldn't find it, yeah. But I got so, it now. I'm very ready when you are. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I, I need you to send uh, the balance of the money. Take the money for accommodation. Yeah. 795 um euros and yeah. transfer the rest of the money to um, the travel agent. And which uh, travel agency is that agent? Obviously TUI flights or Ryanair? Sorry? Which travel company am I going to send the money to? Is it Ryanair? Okay. Isn't that a British airline? No, no, no. I'm going to send you the details of the agent. The agent is the agent that will book the flight. Agent? But I'm not yeah, the, uh, like, a, like a secret service agent? No, 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 no. 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 I'm going to send you the account details, the yeah, account no, number. No, that's good. I don't want to get involved with politics. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm going to send you the, uh, the account details. So you transfer, you take 795 um, euros and they transfer the rest to him. I don't want to bother you again because I can see that you are, you are ill. Yes. I don't want to bother you. Just, yeah, just transfer the balance of the money to him. Yeah, the customer the always comes first. That's yeah. our motto here at uh, Rudi Winkler Tours, uh, managed by Rainer Winkler. We yeah, take yeah. great pride in always uh, being the Schrei in the house uh, from Altschauerberg. Oh, thank you very much for understanding. So I'm going to send you the um, the account number in yeah. five in, in five in the next five minutes, so you can make the transfer. Yeah, that's so nice. And this is a company travel, right? Yeah, um, it's a co it's a company. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to send you uh, I think uh, the account details to, to your email. Yeah, I understand. Just, but yeah, I, uh, which just transfer the money to the agent. So the agent will do the 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 the. the, the the car booking and the flight booking. Are we supposed to pick them up from the airport? Yeah, I will let you know once the, the flight and um, everything is arranged. I will let you know. That's very kind of you. But let yeah. me just ask, what was the company's name? I need to put it down on the paperwork. The company's name? Yeah, I'm going to send it to you by email. That's the car. Dom Carpentry Limited. I'm going to send it by email. Yeah, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. So do the, do your guys like to get up early in the morning? Yeah, um, I, I think so. Well, I think they're coming for vacation. They wouldn't mind. 
Oh, it's yeah, a vacation. I thought it's a business trip. Yeah, vacation could be business, yes. Ah, uh -huh. because I need to eat. I just, my secretary just handed me a letter, uh, handed me a letter from the uh, Bundesamt of uh, Apartment Industry. And they tell oh. us that there is a, uh, there's some work that needs to be done next door, so it could okay. get get a noisy a little bit. No, no problem, no problem about that. It's no not problem. a problem. We will hand yeah. your guys a flyer and some wine. Do yeah, they okay, okay. do Thanks. they do they like some some cheese to their wine? Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. of course. They, they what's, love that. Yeah. What's the what do they prefer? Yeah, I'll have to I have to ask them, you know, to to be uh, exact, you know, to to be sure of what I'm saying, you know. Okay, I'm yeah, so well, glad that you booked with us. Maybe there's a, a possibility yeah. for future cooperation. Yes, no, for sure, for sure. I'm so glad that I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah. what, what what I need you to do for me now is just to transfer the money to the agent so he can book the flight ticket immediately. Yeah, but why haven't you booked already? You know, the early bird catches the worm and early flights are always cheaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cheaper, but the problem is that they should be checked for accommodation and transportation. Oh. Should I suggest a, a taxi company to you? We have very friendly people here. Yeah, you can, yes, you can. Yes. Yeah, let, let me spell it out to you. It's a zero, zero. Zero, zero. Minus. I know, yeah. Yeah, then whiskey. Whiskey, yeah. Caesar, like the Roman Emperor. Whiskey, Caesar, yeah. Yeah, and the next word, I will I will try to spell it properly. It's uh, yeah. Franklin. Franklin, yeah. Yeah, Richard. Richard. Echo. Echo. Sierra. Sierra, yeah. Hotel. Hotel. Yeah, so it's uh, in Germany we say null null WC fresh. Oh no no, the, the, I, I will stop you. Are fresh? Yeah yeah, that's the company's name. They are always okay. present at the airport, and if okay. you uh, guys tell them that they have uh, accommodation at Schreiendes Haus Alt Sauerberg Rainer Winkler, they will give you a good deal. Okay, uh, Mr. Winkler, please uh, let me just um, let me just send you the account details so you can make the transfer. Then I'll call you back again. So yeah, yeah. Continue, yeah. When are yeah, you I'll calling send. again? Yeah, I'll call you um, when once you make. The, I'm, I'm going to send you the account number in the, in the next five minutes. Then I'll call you again in the next ten to fifteen minutes. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Please just make the transfer and send me a photo, photo of the transfer, please. Yeah, that's not a problem. I I know how to do business. All right, all right. I'm going to send you the, the email next. Thank yeah, you that's very much. So, I'll call you again. so nice. Right, See I'll you I'll later, you sir. All right. Bye. Bye. That's all. Yeah. So, liebe Freunde, und das ist dann das Ende. Die schreiben irgendwelche privaten Apartmentvermittler, irgendwelche Hotels, irgendwelche Privatleute, die bei Ebay inserieren, an. Sagen hier, komm, wir schicken dir jetzt einen Scheck über 5000 Pfund. Nimm das, was du brauchst für das Hotel. Und den Rest schickst du an uns weiter. Und im Endeffekt machst du dann Geldwäsche für diese Leute. Bin gespannt, ob er nochmal anruft. Ja, yeah, hallo. Ja, yes, hallo. Ja, yeah, sorry, kann ich mit Torena anrufen, bitte? Komm again, Sir. Kann ich mit Torena To Rainer? Yeah, Rainer Winkler. Rainer Winkler? Okay, one second. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello, Rainer. Ah, Johnny, my my old friend. Yes. Yes. Um, have you made the transfer? I sent you the account details by email. Oh, I haven't checked. Let oh. me just check it. Okay. Ah, yes, I got it. Leopold Petgrave. Yeah, In Germany, Petgrave. we would say it's like a Haustier Friedhof. Do you know oh. the novel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Friedhof okay. der Kuscheltiere, they say, you know. Okay. And what am I supposed to do now? Yeah, um, you're going to have to, yeah, deduct the money for accommodation. 
then I'm sending the balance of the money. So I wouldn't want to be disturbing you for money because you know you are you're not feeling very fine. So send transfer the rest of the money to your third grave, please. Yes, but but okay. So this is the Iben, the South Coast, the big address. So is this like a bank in Britain? Yes, this is Iban South Coast B I C. Yes, this is nationwide bank in yeah, England. Yeah. Yes. But what was the company's name? Is Petgrave the company name? No, Petgrave is the agent. That is his name. That no, was no, 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 but I need, for, for the paperwork, you know, we were the, the doing business here, I need a yeah. uh, company's name to put down on the paperwork. Yeah, I can send you that one later. You just need to make the transfer. That's yeah, problem. that's not it. Let, let me do it right now. Okay. Oh, that's not... Are your guys, guys coming to Germany more often, or is this a single trip? Yeah, they do come, you know, they do come, uh, like, uh, it's not because of COVID, they come, like, more often. But it's COVID delayed everything. Oh, that's great, that's great. Maybe they, you can book uh, with us in the future as well. No? Yeah, of, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Uh, I think, um, um, was, um, before the World Cup, yeah, maybe sometime around August, yes. In August? Yes, yes. That sounds... For 18, day, for 18 days. For 18 days? Would you yes, like to... Days. Would they like to have the same accommodation or should we send you another offer? Yeah, I think uh, maybe uh, it depends on the people. If they, if they like this one, then, then they can you know, yeah, yeah. give us an idea. Yeah. I'm not sure if I told you already, but we have like a guinea pig infestation in the accommodation right now. Do you think that's a problem? Oh, I see. Okay. It's like we have a pet shop next door, and some of them escaped, and they are trying oh. to recollect them and put them back in the cages. But just alone, today, we, we found 17 guinea pig inside the facility. Oh. Do you oh. know guinea pig? Yeah, yeah, I think I know pig, guinea pig. Yeah. It's like a hamster, but, but way bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, yeah, we, we got a farm there. No, it's a, it's a shop next door that sells them. Oh, okay, okay. And okay. somehow so. they broke out of the cages. Wow. I don't know how many they kept there. I think they were hoarding them for an unknown reason. I think it's something medical. It's like a laboratory. Oh, laboratory, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so there could be some... Uh, uh, chemical threats as well, but it's not not a not a problem for your for your guests, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't be, a problem. be a problem. They can wear a gas mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a nice guy, Johnny. When are you coming to Germany? Yeah, hopefully very soon. Hopefully very soon. You know, um, we're a little bit busy uh, oh. with work. At this time, yeah, okay. hopefully, hopefully before the end of the year, you're going to see me, definitely. Uh, to just tell me, what is your company doing? What's your business branch? You mean my own business? Yeah, yeah, your business. What's yeah, that is, that is carpentry, right? So carpentry. Carpentry? Yes. The carpets? Oh, it's very yes. nice because we have uh, themed hotel rooms. Your okay. guests are checking in in the penguin facility. Okay, it's the penguin room. Okay. Everything's decorated like you're in in, in the Antarctica, <laughs> and we are we are arranging uh, an otter room. Do you know the otter, the animal otter? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. would like to to get a carpet to hang it on the wall with a big otter on it. Could you produce something like that? Yes, of course, of course. We design. We, that's what we do. We I just see it and just tell us what you want. Then yeah, yeah. For you. Could you give me a rough estimate how much that would be? Yeah, I'm gonna have to like you know you have to send me exactly what you want. Then we can do a rough estimate. Are the the measurements you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's now we also doing a goat room with the goats. And Somebody with boat a, room, okay. no, not boat, goat, like the Ziegebock, we were in Deutschland sagen. Uh, I'm switching back and forth from German to English. You're confusing <laughs> me, young sir. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's somehow sometimes difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. You know, I'm 87. 
and switching yeah. between languages is not the easiest thing to it's do. It's not easy. Well, you try and speak, you speak English very well. Speak yeah. plenty. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. I've yeah, been training it my entire life. Wow. Yeah, That's yeah. Wonderful. That's wonderful. I was, I was, um, back then when you know who was in charge of, of ruling the Reich, I was in the, uh, the, the counter spy department and we, we've dealt with a lot of British agents back then and I picked up some vocabulary. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Back in my wild days, you know, they called me the, uh, Rudy mit der goldenen Luga, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that wow. was my that was my nickname. Yeah, nickname then. Wow. Yeah, must yeah. be a brave man. You must be a brave man then. Yeah, yeah, indeed. It's still online. If you uh, look up uh, on YouTube, if you look for uh, the Rudy tapes, you can still see footage of me. You know? Wow, Rudy tapes. The Rudy yeah, tapes. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's very important. I'm a yeah, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> somehow overnight I became an internet star, you know. Wow, wow, I didn't wow, even want that much attention, but somehow the people thought it was funny. Wow, uh, yeah. very interesting. Are you a funny yeah, guy as well? Yeah, 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 I've tried to be funny myself. Ah, yeah, yeah. that's very good. I try, but I think you're funnier, yeah, you know, you, you, you're fun to stay with, you know, I'm going to try to get that, I think they will enjoy you, you know. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people say that it's a pleasure talking to me until yeah, I yeah. reveal who I really am. To be honest with you, yeah, maybe you need to be a comedian. <laughs> yeah, should I tell you the truth? Yeah. I actually am. Wow, I yeah. see, because you really talk like a comedian, I'm saying Yes, that. I am. And what yeah. is your profession? Yeah, I'm an engineer by profession. You're an engineer? Yeah. Uh, what are you engineering? Yeah, I'm uh, into um, uh, gas engineering. But uh, some seconds ago you told me you were a carpenter. Yeah, I'm in the company, the company that is sponsoring the check. Ah. Because, yeah, the company, yeah. That's very you know, interesting. I'm, I'm making a reservation for my colleagues, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice yeah. story. Did you make it up by yourself or is this part of your script? Sorry? Did you make up this story by yourself or is it part of your script? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I know that you don't understand. Are we, for lo how long have we been exchanging emails? It's four months already, right? Yeah, yeah. And how many people actually fall for your trick? I don't understand what you mean. I was asking how many people fall for your money laundering trick. There's no money laundering. Of course it is. We've been fooling you for for half a year already, and now I've got you on the phone. I've got your banking details and. <laughs> Woo! Ja, Freunde, das war Johnny Hanman aus Afrika, der äh, als äh, hochbegabter Ingenieur abends um äh, 20:30 Uhr nichts Besseres zu tun hat als äh, von Handteppiche zu knüpfen und bei irgendwelchen Hotels, äh, die von Meerschweinchen überrannt werden und wo biologische Gefahren bestehen, seine Kollegen unterzubringen. Alles nur der Liebe wegen und nicht um Geldwäsche zu betreiben. Ich hoffe, euch hat das gefallen, auch wenn es jetzt in Englisch war. Der Typ versteht es leider nicht anders.